What's going on guys, I'm Flynn Masters, and welcome to part 2 of the most iconic moments in Hell's Kitchen history. Please be sure to watch part 1, as that video covered moments 20 to 11. But for today, strap yourselves in, as we'll be going through the top 10 moments to come during the 20 seasons of Hell's Kitchen. Before we begin, if you love Hell's Kitchen content like this, then please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, as with season 21 starting this week, now is the perfect time to join the great community of HK fans we're building on this channel. With all that said, let's count down the cream of the crop when it comes to iconic moments of the legendary show that is Hell's Kitchen. Bloody hell, here I go again. If there's one thing Chef Ramsay can't stand, it's customers coming to the kitchen to complain. I mean, do you really think the head chef isn't just as frustrated as the customers that the food's not coming out? While customers eventually learn their lesson, a select few people in the first couple seasons of Hell's Kitchen learn the hard way what happens when you enter Ramsay's kitchen to complain. Mr. Chef. Yes, ladies. You hurt my friend's feelings. I hurt your friend's feelings. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, she's Why? very upset because you told her to f off. Oh, really? Did yeah. I? Can you tell her I meant it? Yeah, all right, I'll tell her. Jean Philippe Souffle, can you escort these two ladies, please? Back to plastic surgery. Ladies, please. Oh, Let's go. I just want more pumpkin. That's all I want. Right, well, I'll get you more pumpkin. I'll ram it right up your fing ass. Would you like it whole or diced? Would you mind taking your breath off my hot plate? Yeah, look at that. How can I serve food with those things there? <laughs> Security, please. We all love Jean-Philippe, the maitre d' of Hell's Kitchen. Between his thick accent, slick hair, and petty attitude, he's a fun little touch to the show. However, one thing's for sure, he takes his job as maitre d' very seriously, and this was on full display at the second service of season 6. Van was assigned tableside for the night, but he wasn't doing a very good job of maintaining professionalism in the dining room, despite the constant orders from JP, which led JP to completely go off on Van, an absolutely stunning moment from the usually calm and collected John philippe Don't run in the restaurant, please. I'm going to explode, huh? I'm going to explode, my friend. Listen to me. Whoa, whoa. Listen. Listen to me. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. I have a problem here. Hit him. Don't touch me, bro. Get out of my face. Hey, hey. Forcing Chef Ramsay to step in. Stop. Hey, both of you. Come here. Please touch both, both of you. Come here. Are you going to do it? If he listens to you. Are you going to do it? Yes, I will if you listen. Are you going to do it? Yes, Chef. Last chance. Ladies first. Gordon Ramsay of course became the household name he is today, mainly through his insane outburst at the contestants. But in my eyes, his most insane rage came at the final six service of season five. After Giovanni made a mistake, Ramsay gave him the usual insult. However, surprisingly, Giovanni talked back to Ramsay, and safe to say, Ramsay didn't take Gio's response too kindly. Your special has now become not very special, thanks to dick face there. Hurry up, Giovanni. Yeah, but I'm not dick face chef. Yeah, say that again. Look at me, look at me in the eyes. Not as pissed as I am. You f***ing are. Donkey. No. Right now, I don't give a f***. Dick face. This is not personal. This is professional. I'm sorry, that chef. That first one's a piece of s***. Now pull it back. Yes, chef. Dick face. The next two on the list stand out as the two most shocking moments in the show's history, with number seven possibly being the most shocking moment ever. Joy was the front runner to win season 12 the majority of the season, as she had only one bad service, was a challenged beast, and showed great leadership skills as well. But then at the final five, after simply getting yelled at by Ramsay for making a couple mistakes on the fish station, she unbelievably threw away her chance at winning Hell's Kitchen and a quarter of a million dollars. Chef, I'll he Can I finish my sentence? Plain English. I would like the garnish to the halibut before the halibut. Chef, I just... Yes or no? You want to pick an argument? I'm ready. Don't take it out of my food. I'm done. You're done. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Boy, stop. I'm done with this. What a selfish attitude. One thing wrong and you run away. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm trying to tell you. No, you're not telling me. I'm done. Hey, I know you're done. It shows in your cooking. Okay, fine. Get out. Unbelievable. So did that really happen? I guess. I can't believe what was just happening. She just blew it over a fish. I don't understand that. Joy's quitting was one of the most shocking things I've ever experienced in Hell's Kitchen. But her lack of maturity tonight proved that she is not ready to be a head chef because leaders never quit. While you can't deny the impact of season one, I truly believe season two is where Gordon Ramsay officially became a household name and Hell's Kitchen itself found its footing. 
After a season full of crazy moments, it looked like we would once again get a pretty obvious final two in Keith and Heather. However, after Keith had a mediocre past performance, Virginia was able to sneak her way into the finals despite sucking the entire season due to the great leadership she displayed while running the pass. In the first true shocky moment in the show's history, not only did Ramsey prove to the chefs and audience that there's more to his decisions than what meets the eye, but this also led to the first and only time a chef has ever stood up to Ramsey after being eliminated. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight and will not be going through to the final two is Keith. Personally, big boy, I don't think you're ready. Give me your jacket, please. So you're telling me that Virginia is a better leader than me? Whatever station I was on, I was leading the, the line throughout whatever team I was on the whole time. I personally don't think you're ready to lead. I personally think that you have a hard on for Virginia. Yeah. Now, I definitely know I've made the right decision. So your attitude does think. If Keith can only lose the attitude, underneath all that, there's one talented, talented cook. Hell's Kitchen is of course known for its villainous personalities because let's face it, the show simply wouldn't be as entertaining without them. I mean, just look at how many moments from villains have made this list. And let's be honest, even the nicest of people can turn into jerks during their time in Hell's Kitchen as the average person can only take so much yelling, stress, and lack of sleep. However, if there's one chef in Hell's Kitchen that stands out due to their amazing personality, it's Sterling Wright from Hell's Kitchen Season 13. Sterling was a joy from the start, and despite having his struggles, and a couple of his teammates in fact hating his bubbly personality, this didn't stop him from being Mr. 100 throughout his incredible underdog run. Unfortunately, after a dreadful service at the Final 7, Ramsey had no choice but to eliminate him, but even Ramsey had to tell Sterling just how much of a joy he was the entire competition. You have been a phenomenal, relentless competitor, but I know that you're not ready to be my next head chef. Okay, you've been a joy to be around and you've put smiles on all of our faces. And because of that, I want you to keep your jacket. I'm starting. Continue cooking. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay, you'll always be 100 to me. Time to head up to the dorms and yes, your bags. Yes, sir. I might not want Hell's Kitchen, but I got something that nobody in Hell's Kitchen have never accomplished. I got Chef Ramsay Hart. On the topic of iconic chefs, if you ask a casual Hell's Kitchen fan to name the first chef that pops into their head, more than likely, the first name out of their mouth would be Raj. Raj, of course, is still a meme to this day, as some of the most popular videos across YouTube when it comes to Hell's Kitchen involves him in some way. Despite only lasting three episodes, Raj became a legendary donkey of Hell's Kitchen due to his crazy personality he displayed in season eight. I know I might be cheating here, as I'm not choosing one specific moment from Raj per se, but all I can say is, thank you so much to casting for somehow finding this absolute legend of a man to be on Hell's Kitchen. First shape it, here, put it here, put it down, shape it. The dough's there, you can't roll it. Here's more mozzarella. What? I rolled a f***ing pizza dough, what are you doing? Are you I start drinking and I start doing karate. It's a bad habit. Ah! Oh, my leg. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna get out of the way. I thought he was about to have a damn heart attack. Ah! Ah! Conku! But thanks to Raj, none of them are going to waste. I see all this food, and it looks delicious, so I just, you know, ate it. Look at his eating, look. Have you got enough in there? But that's so good. It's really a waste. Wow. No, I mean, I just a quick little bite. It's really tasty. How could Chef Ramsay blame me for eating this delicious food? It's fantastic. I try to make some sense out of this intense chaos. I gotta cool off somehow. I tried to clear my head by sticking my head in the refrigerator. Raj, move your fat ass! When the going gets tough in the kitchen, our chef puts his head down and cooks. All Raj wanted to do was put his head in the freezer. And that's why his stay in Hell's Kitchen was a short one.
We've already talked about a few iconic moments from Season 6, with another one still to come, but I believe the main reason why this season sticks out to many HK fans as the best season ever is due to the unbelievable run of two of the best chefs that ever enter Hell's Kitchen, in Dave Levy and Kevin Cottle. It's one thing to do well in Hell's Kitchen, but the flat out dominate HK with an injured body part puts these two on another level. Walking up the stairs, the very top stair, click! Wow! I knew something bad just happened to me. Extremely bad. Ugh. I was scrubbing the truck and my hand got stuck, so I yank it out. I felt my wrist start to swell up right away. My wrist is really screwed up. It was really swollen. I'm scared that I can't feel the tips of my fingers. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah, it's just because it feels like the bone's touching the skin. I have a torn FCR and a f slight fracture of the wrist. What do they say about you? Ligament stretch. He doesn't think it's torn, so I had to put a boot on this one. And this one's uh, severely sprained, so he put an air cast on this one. Well, I'm going up with the chicken next. Man, I'm the cripple guy here. I'm the guy with not one bum ankle, but two bum ankles in a cast hobbling around. But yet, no one else can keep up. I have the lamb. Have the lamb. The lamb's cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. Lamb, please. Going to the window, chef. Despite his injury, two lamp coming to the window. Dave manages to complete the first entrees. One of the unfortunate things about Hell's Kitchen is that the winner, and for that matter, the final two, are always pretty obvious, thus making the season rather predictable. But what makes season six so great is that despite Dave and Kevin being such an obvious final two, that doesn't make this season any less amazing, as the fact that these two men were able to survive the elements of Hell's Kitchen while nursing injuries is simply incredible, leading to a battle of Goliaths at the final two. First thing I thought about is, I'm gonna show my kid, it's okay. Never stop dreaming. Hold your head up high and know that you did your best. I've been in so much pain for so many weeks, and I had to fight so hard to stay in the competition, but I wouldn't change any of it. I'm just so grateful to have earned Chef Ramsey's respect. Well done. That means more to me than anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of House Kitchen, At number two is the most iconic meltdown in Hell's Kitchen history. We've of course seen plenty of dumb mistakes throughout the years. We've even seen some all-time bad dinner services, but no collapse is more memorable and iconic than Nelka's meltdown at the final seven of season seven. The show basically spoiled this service at the very start of the season to grab the viewers' attention, letting them know that Nelka would have an insanely bad service down the road. And I think what makes Nelka's meltdown so notable is that she was great all season and looked to be a lot to make it to the Black Jackets. Yet, out of nowhere, she had the worst dinner service performance in Hell's Kitchen history. Nelka! Yes, Chef! No! They're still f***ing raw! For God's sake, woman! It's the first table! That's raw, Nelka. It's raw. I gave her the piece of fish to put back in the pan. Talk about give it up. Nelka! Yes, Chef! The lobster is raw! Uh, I just took it out the pan. Look at me! Look at me! Put it down! Look at me! Out! Get out! Benjamin! We shall. One lobster! Nelka! Get out! I'm going! And madam! Madam! Yes, chef! Take your jacket off and f*** off! Oh, chef, don't stay there, please! Chef, please! <laughs> chef, please don't stay there! At last, we've reached number one, as this moment is not only the most iconic moment in Hell's Kitchen history, but I'd argue, is one of the most iconic moments to ever air on reality TV. Don't say it, Flynn. Don't say it. Ah, oh, fine. Number one can speak for themselves. They know who they are. Who's the first nominee for the men? They can speak for themselves, but they know who they are. Listen, I know you may be slightly stupid. First nominee and why? Tony. He knows why. We sat down as a group, let everyone pick each other. You know? No peer pressure. We're men. Just, just, just 
What do you want, a f***ing medal? What do you want me to say? I ask the f***ing questions, you give the f***ing answers. that dog. I ain't here for that. You want to talk about fighting? Oh, wow. You want to get f***ing rough? Do you think I'm scared? Huh? Look at you. Yeah. We can stop you standing here. I asked you one simple question, and you couldn't f***ing answer me. And then you want to get all tough and up close and personal. You ain't on but a bitch. You got no respect. No respect. Now get out. F all you. You heard it? Watch the step. What an idiot. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of this epic two-part series of the top 20 most iconic moments in the 20 season history of Hell's Kitchen. If you like this video, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as every little bit of support helps the channel. Let me know in the comments what rankings you agree and disagree with and some other iconic moments that didn't make the list. With all that said, take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.